Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing about Copilot Studio Kit, how to install it from the GitHub and what are the new key features are added in Copilot Studio Kit. Because a lot of development are ongoing at from the Microsoft end and a lot of newly changes are coming in Copilot Studio. Okay, everyone is seeing Copilot is a new future era for the upcoming trend okay so let's we go and see this so i'm on the microsoft app source okay i simply search here copilot studio okay so here from here you will get the freely copilot studio kit okay this one of the option you have you can click get it now and if you have the azure subscription it will directly available in your power apps okay after that, uh, what are the features this Copilot Studio Kit provides? Like testing abilities, it will use. It will also use conversions, KPIs, SharePoint synchronization, web chat, playground, adaptive card gallery, agent inventory, and agent review tool. So if you see, so these are the some of the features you will get in this one. Okay. So if you see the details and support, okay. So this is currently updated in the 15th of April. So I'm making this video on the 17th April. Okay. So this is just newly launched. Okay. And every day it is updating. Okay. So let's go and see how to install this in the power apps. Okay. So first let's like go to the GitHub repository of this one. So okay. friends, you can be see I'm on the GitHub repository and this link is available in the description box. From there, you can be go to this one. Okay. So let's I scroll it down. So these features we already discussed what is provided. Okay. For setup and instructions, we will go to in the prerequisites. Okay. So let's we go in the prerequisites. As I mentioned, okay, we need a power platform environment with data words as a data store okay means simply you need a data words access for your environment okay so how to check that okay if you go to the make dot power apps okay in the environment you will see here build apps with data words if your environment present in this a uh, um, category so you have the data was access okay so you can be use this one then let's we go you need adequate model driven app license as well as power automate cloud so i have both of them you can be see that simply in the app okay or you can be asked to your admin then we have some of the dependencies okay so let's see what dependencies are there to use this creator kit so first we need to <clears throat> we have the two options okay so first one is download manually and second one download it from the app source so we already discussed this you can follow the step and for manual purpose first we need to install the creator kit okay so let's we go and open this in the new tab so it is downloaded okay so creator kit is downloaded then we need to ensure okay in the environment settings app code components for canvas app feature is enabled so let's we go in the power apps okay let's we go to the environment admin center okay in the admin center select your environment tab here okay you will see the environments click on it then we have this gear icon settings use this that's in then in the product we have the features okay so we have to go to in the features and just we scroll okay so this one okay so this feature we have to turn on power apps code component framework for canvas app just turn on this okay and uh, let's see something we are missing okay so this we have to turn on only so first thing is done okay <laughs> then we have to select our environment and import the solution okay so let's we go to the make dot power apps okay let's come from our solution is correct let's click on the import solution i click on browse and I attaching the solution here okay click on next so our solution is currently importing it is processing so let's we go click on the import 
so our solution is importing currently okay so we done with the first step okay so dependencies we have done okay then we have the one optional requirement okay so we need the ai builder credits as well okay so i have ai builder credits you can be check that in the admin center okay so if i go in the features okay here you have the analytics okay so here you can be see your ai builder credits here okay so you can be check here okay simply how much ai builder credits you have so our solution is still importing okay so let's wait for a couple of seconds so we successfully imported a so creator kit okay so now let's we import the copilot studio kit okay so for that purpose uh, we are going to the official documentation of cat team for installing the cat copilot studio kit okay so we will use this latest release okay let's open this in the new tab and first what we have to do we have to import the copilot studio accelerator zip file okay from the copilot studio okay let's we go to the make dot power apps okay and from this newly open tab okay we will install this manage zip okay latest one okay so this let's we download this okay it's downloaded now let's go to the our solution okay let's click on the import here okay after clicking on import uh, we have this one okay copilot studio accelerator kit just import it okay and click on the next so now our solution is importing so after when in importing it will ask you to re establish the connections okay and it will ask for the sign is okay so we are already done okay let's simply click on the next next here okay so agent token endpoint is not needed okay delay for azure application set we can keep as it is power automate endpoint is correct okay so we need the data or url okay so how to get this okay just go it here okay click on the gear icon okay in the gear icon we have the developer resource okay you have to give for the same environment just copy this web api endpoint till this one okay don't take this api data okay so let's say copy this one okay till the dot com okay just and then paste it here okay control a control v the so conversion api we can be update any time okay so it is not Im important to update okay so we will keep as it is then we have the delay conversion transcript enrichment we'll keep as it is and simply click on the import here so now so after importing successfully it will take some time to import so wait for that you will see the warning just ignore that warning okay and uh, in the your managed solution you can able to see the copilot studio kit. after this step you have to go to the make dot power automate okay so in the make dot power automate you have to go to your own environment where you install this creator kit okay and in the cloud flows okay in the my section you can be see all the flows related to the your solution okay so you have to turn each flow to the status on so this two is by default not enable okay so let's i go select this and click turn on and this one as well okay last one, turn on so both flows are turn on now okay it will take some time to reflect we are seeing some errors okay what is that okay we can be ignore that we need to fix that okay but not needed okay so now our creator kit is installed successfully let's see anything we are missing so now we can be enable this conversation kpi dashboard okay so now let's we see how to set up users and teams in the power up cat team but currently i am only using this one okay so i am not um, instructing this okay you can be follow this documentation link is available in description box okay so how the administrator role to use this one so let's we go 
in the now in the creator kit okay so we have total 240 components and one app okay let's we go to the that application okay it is model driven app okay let's play this so in this co-pilot creator kit tool okay you can be see all the tools prompt advisor adaptive cards we chat about agent review and agent inventory okay and also we have one advanced part okay so in that we have the conversion transaction agent transcript components and collections one so all these things we are seeing in our next video so please be subscribed to our channel and be connected with me thank you friends have a nice day to keep learning keep growing